This is a quick demo of myedu.com to see if it would meet your needs for students building a schedule. Um, when you get to myedu.com, if you don't have an account, you need to make one. You need to say what institution you're at and what your degree, when, what degree you're working on, and when you plan on finishing it. Um, <clears throat> I'm now at the home page. And if I scroll down, it says it looks like you haven't added any courses. Use a schedule planner to start adding courses. There's also an interesting Canvas talk chat thing down here you might want to look at. But um, I could also go up to schedules and degrees and plan my schedule as another way of getting to the same place as schedule planner. So I click on that. And I need to add a semester. So I'm going to look at spring 2013 and continue. <clears throat> now each following semester, I'll have to click on Manage Semesters and add a new semester and decide which ones I want to look at and all. But right now, I'm all set. And now I want to add some courses. If I click on Add Course, it asks me the department and the course if I know what it is. Or I can just hit Browse, come up here and say, OK, let's say it's M. S J Studio <clears throat> Jazz. I click on it. Up should come the list of all of the courses in that department. And I can say, OK, I'm going to take MSJ JPC Jazz Piano. It, it puts it in there. Um, let's say that I'm also going to take, oops, too far. I'm also going to take Jazz Vocal Ensemble 695. And then I say, oh, and let me <clears throat> go back, browse by department. You can also browse by professor if you want. Um, let's see, done here. I'm going to add another course just so that you can see. Let's do a um, oh, English. I think it's 205. Is that one of our big English course 205? I think so. Now, <clears throat> what I'm doing at this point, Jewish literature, there it is. I have to click on it. Is adding courses to this list of um, of unscheduled courses. Let's see. That, that didn't take. Why didn't that take? I have to click Add again. Yeah, these are my unscheduled courses. <clears throat> then I can say Auto Schedule, or I can look at each one of these courses and see when it's offered. So, for example, English 205 is offered a bunch of times. And the question is, when am I going to take it? Well, over here in this list, oh, it's not offered a bunch of times. I take it back. <laughs> English 205 in the spring is offered once, and it's... Um, Tuesday, Thursday, 11 to 12.15, Section P. Uh, I was hoping to get a course that was offered a bunch. But if I do auto schedule, <clears throat> it will try to do which semester do you want to auto schedule? Spring. It will say MSJ doesn't have any sections or times. MSJ 695, English 205, uh, recommendations. What days do you want to take classes on? We'll try that. We'll try that. I'll say schedule. And it puts my classes in as best it can. Uh, it still can't put the, uh, I guess, that jazz saxophone or whatever it was that I was looking at, jazz piano. <clears throat> I'd have to figure out when that was and put in a comment or something. But this allows me to very quickly create a schedule that I can manipulate, do things with, look for different times and that. So I can go down here and I can say, um, oh, I'll bet neither one of those has other times. So let's add, let's accept this schedule. Let's add a course and let's add math, <clears throat> mathematics, and oh, I'm going to go back and browse. I'm sorry. Browse my department, MTH. Is that what I do? Yeah, filter, MTH, mathematics, 
<clears throat> what I want to do is find calculus one. I'm assuming, well, this is spring semester, so there are probably quite a few sections of calculus two, four sections. That looks good. So let's make sure that's been added and done. So I've got two unscheduled courses here that I need to schedule. Math 162. And let's try to figure out when it's offered. 162, I've got uh, section 14, section 3. Uh, this is one of those courses that has Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday sections. So it's got numbers instead of, of things. I can see the instructors over here. So I say, OK, I'm going to take, well, let's see, can I take that one? I don't know. Let's, oh, I see. I clicked on Math 162, so it's showing me when the first one is. That won't work. Let's try this one. Yeah, that would work. So I'll go ahead and leave that one as my Math 162. Um, I can <clears throat> try other ones, and it can do auto-find and all kinds of neat stuff. So um, I'm not sure. I think they'd have to print it out. I guess they could email it to you as a, your, their advisor where they could print it out and bring them with them. But that's at least a starting point for the students. Uh, might that meet your needs? Uh, they get the list of courses simply from our online list of courses, I believe. We don't have anything to do with this company. It's just a private company that does a service for students, trying to match them up with jobs and internships and things like that after the fact. So um, it isn't a service of the University of Miami. It just uses our data. Let me know if that helps.